What's going on, guys? Welcome to the internet. I'm here with Michael B. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be hey, Michael B's interpreter. And uh, what are we picking here? Zap, zap, zippity doo. Actually, this can. There we go. That's what we want. It's too right close, there. Man. Right there. Oh, you fixed it. That's perfect. Now we can see all the cars. We got plenty of room. I do not know why. We could take like solemn. Keep it open. Oh, that's not super exciting. It's not exciting. I'm really tempted to take one of these. Have you played this before? It's actually no. very, very good. I thought it was. I thought it cost five, and I was much less impressed uh, when it cost five. And now that I know it cost three, I was like, "Oh, this card's very good." And then I played, it and I was like, "This card's good." So it can gain life link, vigilance, and you can like buff it. Yeah, you can give it. It's got more fling ability, so plus one, negative one, or negative one plus one, and. Um, you can just bounce it if it's in danger. I think it's probably solemn. We're going to take the solemn. Morgan also said solemn, so. Hmm. I think you just take it, man. Second pick Kiki Jiki is pretty good. What do you take over that? Like, this is an infinite combo in the cube. Like, what do you take over this? What do you. Nothing. Jason Land Sculptor? <clears throat> maybe. Do. Maybe. I mean, it's not the powered cube, so. Ooh, third pick opposition. Oh, man. Two Nickel Bolas in one pack? Oh, God. The decisions I have to make here. And an opposition, too. Opposition is by far the most broken card in the pack. You're the most broken card in the pack. Wow. Hey, Frank, my wife Amy says hello. Also, oh, tell tell Amy I said hello. I'm sure that's real and not another fake person that you made up. But that's okay. It's okay. She doesn't... My wife doesn't go to the same school. She goes... She lives in Canada. You wouldn't know her. <laughs> What's a pick, man? Little Nicky, Big Nicky, opposite. What if we take a Little Nicky and Big Nicky comes back? I still think it's the opposition. Really? Yeah. But if you're like starting red, like yeah, red blue. No problem is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore you. Wow. Just this once. But how we're not, we can't play Kiki and Nickel Bolas in the same deck. Explain why. Because it's too much red, man. Hmm. Who made the red man red? Is it who or what? I think it's who. I want to look up this saying. I'm so jealous of that pizza. What? Wait, what? Is there a pizza in the chat? Oh, it is what. It's what makes the red man red. And let's see what it means. Let's see if it's not an incredibly racist. Yep. Contemporary audience may consider it racist and offenses due to its exaggerated stereotypes. Although a similar depiction was played in J.M. Barry's original play leader adaptations have reimagined the Indians. While the Disney version, and thus this song in particular, were said to have doubled down on racial stereotypes. Not Disney. Sarkhan or Flame Tongue? Make it quick. Sarkhan's way better. He's just the same card with an upside. That's true. Oh, I like a Blood Crypt here. How do you feel about Blood Crypt here? Uh, yeah. Let's see that. I refuse to believe Disney would ever have anything to do with something controversial. Not on the high horse they rode in on with, with James Gunn, that's for sure. <clears throat> what do you think here? Hmm. None of these cards are good. This whole pack is trash, except for this Woodfall Primus. Uh... The squee above you. <laughs> take... Nice. We could take Curse of Crux of Fate. Curse of Crux of Fate? Yeah. Wow, that's a real, that's a real crux. What is this? What am I looking at, Matthew? Or? Is this frozen pizza? Oh, you made this? I was going to say, I was actually going to say, this looks pretty good for frozen pizza. So now I know that it rightfully, oh, a Dragon Skull Summit. I'm going to take all the fixing lands so we can cast our spells. That is a good distrib distribution of toppings. Oh, oh, ooh! Did you ooh ah? Ooh. Did you hear that? Did you hear that uh, emotional progression there? Yeah. <laughs> what are we taking here, man? Tell me. I like the land. Here. I wanna know. Can you? T you like it over Belschnickel? 
Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I don't like that I like the land, but... Ugh. Note that I used enough cheese to seal the edge. I actually... I hate it when people are stingy with the cheese and they're like, oh, and it's like four inches away from the crust. And you're like, why? Why even? I like... Actually, I like pyroclasm here. Or Stormy V? Yeah, because the problem with this deck is you get way too many five drops. I'm just taking this. This is... Oh, all right. This is a good Chandra, though. Yeah, it's like the best Chandra. I actually think it is. I like it better than Flame Caller. Stronghold it actually might not be terrible because you can put, like, Kiki Jiki or the other one back on top. I think it's just Man Land here. Like, if we have on-color lands and we're going to be... Came back. Nailed it. That's pretty cool. Oh, Flame Tongue came back, too. That's cool. Eh, Searing Spear is good. What up, pimps? <clears throat> yeah, our deck's looking great so far. And we got four fixing lands. Ooh. I'll take Crater's Claws. You can kill someone with that. It deals with two more, right? That's pretty yeah, good. Power four, green. I don't know why this is in the cube. There's no real, like, tangle wire synergies. Like, Yeah, there's not, like... There's no, like, stack deck. Thorn Amethyst or anything like that. Well, we know they didn't pick that first. That's a good one. I, however, will pick that first. And I'll hope either one of these comes back. Boop! Highly doubt the control magic's coming back. I like that up here it has no art, but once you pick it, it has art. That's cool. Does Misty Rainforest get us anything yet? Uh, not yet. Okay. Not yet. This is the deck that I've always wanted right now. We have two Nickel Boluses and a Jace and a Kiki Jiki. I, I think it's either Inferno Titan or Dark Slick Shores, but I'm leaning more towards Inferno Dead. We do need playables. We've taken a lot of lands. This will probably come back. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Inferno Dad. He's one of the best dads. Inferno Dad is best dad. He's one of the best dads that there'll ever be. It's a Scarab be. God, right? Yeah, that card's pretty busted. <clears throat> also, if one of our combo pieces dies, we can just get it back. Ooh, I we like can just that. scrabble it back. Fatal push, chain lightning. I like push better than chain. I do too. I'll take the push. Remember push it? Yeah. Push it. Remember that song? Yeah, I know that song. You gotta take that pizza away, man. I just wanna eat it. I just wanna eat it. <laughs> oh. For those for those on YouTube, this is the pizza Matthew I made. Looking pretty solid. Pretty solid for a homemade pizza. I like this these yellow tinges of uh I love I like the grease. That's a good that's a good indicator for a pizza. So an argument can be made for Ancient Tomb. We have a lot of color requirements, so I'm not even sure I'd want to play it. I kind of just like Coligon's Command here, especially because it can get back combo pieces if they die. And we have yeah. zero three drops. It's true. Yeah, Coligon's Command is a really good If game. I wasn't subbed already, I would sub now. That's all I could ask for. That's literally, that's the best compliment ever. This deck looks sweet. It has all my favorite Grixis cards. Like, this is in my top cards. This is in my top cards. This guy is one of the best best titans, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite cards. This is one of my favorite cards. This card's busted. Hmm. You force a will. I don't know if we have enough blue cards, though. We have, like, three blue... Four blue cards, unfortunately. And, like, if I have to exile any of these four blue cards for a force of will, I just feel bad. It's not cloth. It could be Lotus God, maybe. Hmm. He's so slow. Like, six mana... It's just... What's our alternative, though? Like, P and Kieran Alar? Gifted yeah. Aetherborn? We could take Gifted Aetherborn. We are going to be heavier black. I actually kind of like that. We're not super heavy black yet. We're more heavy red. Well, this is double black. Yeah, we are. We're gonna, I think we're going to be red. Well, I don't know what we're going to be. All right? I just took it. Okay? Okay. I don't need your sass. Dark Dwellers is good. Gets us back. Command. These three so far. Those are pretty good ones. Yeah, but we don't have many. Could just be Gear Hulk. Yeah, it just kills a guy. I don't think we're animating dead yet. Oh, I gotta pass a snappy. 
Yeah, there's only like four targets for Snappy though. So also, Great. Zell's conscripts is a combo. So well, I did the pass. Slower pieces, but it is a piece. I was thinking, can you exile this guy with whip? Oh, I like a, I like an Ophiomancer. Yeah, it's also a three drop, which is nice. Oh, Zealous is much better, especially because we have Kiki Jiki. So I'm gonna move this pizza for you. Thank you. Did you ever, uh, did you ever figure out what made the red man red? I think it was racism. I think you're right. I think it was just some. Uh, Casual turn of the century racism. Oh, Kite Stuff Ultimate Price. Oh, I'll take an Ultimate Price. Yeah, that seems good. Only two pieces of pizza left. You better get it while it's hot. Nighthawk. We can go. We can go Aetherborn into Nighthawk. Deal. There were no good lands in this pack, unfortunately, but we'll get them in the next one. We'll get them in the next one, Gadget. <clears throat> Unrelated question, but what's the name of Superman's human dad in the lore? Um, Jor-El? I guess it's just Chain Lightning. I can't see us playing this or this or this. <coughs> Actually, maybe it's Tetsamok. Mm. <coughs> I think I like Chain Lightning better. All right, well, now we got a Mizzy of Mortars. <coughs> Were you here for that sick Tetsamok play I made? Probably not. Our opponent's playing Reanimator, and I knew they had Makeshift Mannequin, so they Makeshift Mannequin a creature. And I uh, targeted it with Tetsamok to put a mm -hmm. put a prey counter on it and killed it. It's pretty good. It was it was pretty OP. I'm always sad when Mike is not in the stream. Look how sad you make people. Look how sad you made them. Well, sometimes I have to go to work. That's what I tell them, but they don't believe you have a job, so... I don't know. Karn Libby Bibby. This pack is really strong. Time Warp, Pack Rat. Karn Libby Bibby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Thirst, Phyrexian Rager. I don't think we need a Karn, though. We have a pretty high top end. Thoughts on the new Joker movie? I don't know, man. Like, it's hard for me to have thoughts on any new... DC movie, really. You don't like Karn here? It's a lot of mana. We already have... We already have, like, a 7-drop, two 6-drops, and technically another 7-drop, and the other Nicol Bolas. God, Packrat, you guys are all saying Packrat. Packrat's really good. Is it ever not Karn? Is that what someone said? Oh, is it ever Rakdos return? Dang. He's liberated. You ever been liberated before? No. Unbelievable. I, I vetoed all you, all y'all in the chat. I would like a coalition relic. That would be great. Nightmare? I don't think this is a nightmare deck. Maybe it is. No. Oh my god, it's my favorite! <laughs> oh, this Scalding Tarn's hot gas, though. Yeah, but that's a consecrated so. Yeah, it's not really close. <laughs> it's It's a little close. It's not that close for me. I'll never pass this card. I'm sorry, you guys. I mean, I'm sorry. I'll never, I'll never pass it. Did you make a thing in the chat. Did we, did we pass things? No. No. Any, any lands we can get? No. No. Fat Emrakul though. <laughs> the old Fat Emrakul, eh? Fat Emrakul. <laughs> That's. Okay, well. Hmm. Gonti is probably one of our few options in this pack. What if we get a sneak attack? Then what? Then we're going to feel real dumb, right? And take it. <clears throat> I actually always feel bad about this because I'm like, something will happen. We'll get something that'll make it cool. It might just be Gonti. OMG Zoro, check out my, check out my Twitch profile. Scroll down. Just scroll down. Is it Gonti? Are we even playing Gonti? I would hundred yeah, you hundred percent play Gonti. What's wrong with you? Go back to the 
go back to the scrubland. Oh, I like Spellskite. It protects our things. It protect. Yeah, I'll take Spellskite. I really hope that Tarn comes back, but I have my doubts. Aaron Mesa can get Blood Crypt, which is pretty nice. Oh, but Baleful Strix? Getting Blood Crypt is pretty good. Frank loves Gutshot. Why do you do this to yourself? What would you say? Getting Blood Crypt? You like Aaron Mesa? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll take the Aaron Mesa. Just in case we get something else. I feel like our odds are, are, are slimmer. They're slimming up. Slim in the bimmin. I guess maybe just you know what I mean? I don't. No, no one knows what you mean. It's actually not even. Forbid. I'm having eating too fast regrets. <laughs> oh man. I wish there was more to eat. Oh my god, Matthew Ori. Oh, Obnixilus. Actually, I like Manic. Oh, Terminate. Dang, I'm getting so excited. Everything is so exciting. Take Ob. I think another five drop here. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. You take a Terminate instead. Kind of. Okay. Or a Manic Vandal. I don't think we have any ways to get rid of artifacts yet, do we? K Command, I guess. Uh, yeah. You don't have tons of planes removal. What does that mean? Planeswalker removal. Sorry, creatures. We don't have creature removal. We actually have a good amount of creature removal, I think. I'll take Terminate. Oh, what up? It's your boy, Kakush. That's really not my boy. It's your boy. It's not That's not my boy. Also, both these guys have Death Touch. This guy makes Death Touch snakes. I think we have a lot of, a lot of ways to kill things. Death Touch snake. Put the push doo, doo, doo. Really? Well, because we already have, we just got terminate. Like we, I, we got to cut something, right? What are we else are we cutting? Um, I think fatal push might be better than searing sphere. Really? Yeah. It just probably kills more things, you know. You like Frexian Rager? We're not gonna play it, but it's all right. I wish that Tarn came back, but I understand. I get it, Magic. It's a late Bone Shreddy. Bone Shreddy's ready. Bone Shreddy's ready. Uh, yeah, that's right. Bone Shreddy's ready and I don't care. <laughs> that's not the song at all. Bone Shreddy's ready and I don't care. It sounded like you were going to go with a little afternoon delight there. <laughs> Bone Shreddy's in flight. Afternoon delight. What are you grumbling about? What aren't you grumbling about? Somebody's going to go last pick Mystic Snake. You see that car I saw at Publix? Yeah, man. Okay, just asking, man. You want to file? I saw that super aggro post against it. I deleted that. I'm just like, this is not the place for this, man. Get out of here. All right, we need like two cuts if we can 18 land. You want to 18 land this thing? Seems like an 18 land deck. It really does. Searing Spear? Mm hmm. One more cut. Or we can just go 41 with 18. I like that better, actually. Okay. Oh my god. It was empty. We're good. He almost destroyed the whole thing the whole desk, the whole production. <laughs> All our blue are things I would splash for, but two of them are double blue, which makes me sad. But I'll get over it. I'll manage. Let's look at this color distribution. So we're mostly black. I thought we were mostly red, but I guess I guess times have changed. Alright, so black sources we have one, two, three, four. This is nine. Okay, I can deal with nine. <clears throat> red sources we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. Blue, we have three, four, five. So this is only five blue sources, which is pretty rough when we have two double blue cards.
You're going to eight red sources? I think that's okay. Oh, I was going to add another blue. That's, that's what we need, because we have two double blue cards. All right, we're doing it. <clears throat> 18 land, 40, 41 cards. Make it happen. Actually, we can probably cut Aetherborn, bring in Searing Spear, take out a mountain, and add a swamp. Or vice versa. Yeah, I like that better. Having double black on turn two doesn't seem super easy to do. And we still have Vampire Nighthawk, so I, th I like that better. Also, we can Kiki Jiki copy Psalm Simulacrum. Ooh, so much value. Unfortunately, there are very few other things we can copy. Can't copy Gonti or Scarab God. That was loud. What if I'm just the cracker and Mike's the cheese? Are you implying that 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 no one actually enjoys the cracker itself? They just want they're just there for the cheese. Hmm. Oh, Kiki Inferno Titan wins games. That's an extra six damage. I will keep this hand. Will you? Will you really? I don't know. It's still up in the air. Kiki, copy your mom. <laughs> he did. He got me. Can't even argue. That was a good got him. I'm a Roman cracker? That sounds a lot funnier when I said it. Mike Rocket's in flight. Afternoon delight. Why are you playing Carney around Tron deck? This is a good question. I'm pretty much going to snap off a Terminate on this thing if they don't play anything better. They flipped that by attacking with three dudes, right? Three dudes. This really plays Spectral Possession. I'm going to cry. I'll sack it to give my creatures indestructible. Even though you're tapped out. Yep, they always do it. It's so funny. They always do it. Like, I got you with my trick. It's an interesting psychological, like, yep. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Where's our pyroclasm? Yeah, it's definitely coming in. Remember that time I literally said they're going to play Spectral Procession and then that's exactly what they played? I kind of got my own Spectral Procession. I made two guys for three mana. Yeah, except they don't fly. Yet. Wait till the latest evolution of snakes. You gotta wonder. How come... God. I really wish there was a snake token of this. It's the like one of the only creatures that... Uh, that isn't made. We have a good time. That literally might as well just be four mana win the game. It's only two. Why have you got to do more? I don't think that went through. That... <sighs> what are our outs? <laughs> uh, lands, I think. Maybe. Yeah, but will it be fast enough? Probably not. No. There's nothing we can do that's going to be fast enough. Like, we go to nine. We play a third land. We go to six. We play a fourth land. We go to three. We play a fifth land. And, like, it just doesn't do anything.
Why attack with the snake? Why not attack with the snake? I mean, they have a 1-1. One, one. Like, we'll block the 1-1 one, one if they attack with it. We can't block flyers, so... See, now I'm not going to attack with the snake because I'd rather hold it back to block the lightning, but... Brightling, not blightling. Ha ha ha. I mean, it's nice that we had 18 lands, but, I mean... I think we just kill one of these guys to give us an extra turn, Definitely. so... If we can just draw out... They can't make guys yet, which is nice. <clears throat> Got Nighthawk, Gonti, these are all options that can help us. They have two cards in hand, which is not a tremendous amount. So we go to four, we play a fifth land. We go to two, we can potentially play a sixth land. If we draw island to island, we're good. Noxious Gearhawk killing something could help us, maybe. Well, we go to we'd go to two for our sixth land, and then we can kill one, get one more turn. Then play Karn and kill the other one if we draw another land. Like, we have options. Oh, I think they were trying to activate this and they realized they did not have three lands. They only had two. <laughs> How many indestructible lands can we board in? None? Great, I'll take it. Alright, put them all in. Sounds good. Man. Ravages of War. It's one of two... Armageddon effects in the in the Magic Online cube. In case you don't get one. Dismember. Okay. Doesn't really do much there. Hunter. Jesus, buddy. Unexpectedly absent. Put our booping... That's, that's actually very good. That's insane. Because now we just have to draw that next turn. Pretty sure that was the perfect card for them to kill us, so. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're dead either way because you make an extra guy. I could just bounce and then replay this turn, I guess. Yep, that seems fine. <laughs> I, mean, I guess we get one more draw. I don't know what it could be though. Hunter does want to be on. Hunter just wants attention all the time, nonstop. I even left the window open to make sure it wasn't raining, so I could keep an eye on this this weather. All right, we're going to one vampire nighthawk one time. Phyrexian metamorph. Well, we tried. Probably should have played that just to see what they have, I guess, but... Tilt is real. Nope, and we can't draw a card. Alright. Well, good times. Alright, Pyroclasm definitely comes in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spellskite? Eh... We saw Dismember and Unexpectedly Absent. I guess it's fine. It also blocks very well. Uh, I actually try to keep the house pretty clean. So. You would not be... Mm. 
I mean, Fatal Push only, like, they only played tokens so far. I can see, like, that it, Fatal Push not being super great. It, it, like, I, I don't actually like the one for one rule that once, and we have a ton of it already. You could probably cut Nico Bolas. I'll cut Karn, too. I can see Olivia being good. Shoots down their things. Yeah. Take out Gearhulk. Bring in. You say either more? No crux of fate. It's five mana though. We already have Mizzy Mortars too. Like the problem is we don't need lifelink. We just need a way to deal with their creature. Like if we had lands last game, we wouldn't need lifelink. Like it wasn't a matter of like they were super aggressive. They had three creatures the whole game, and they were all one ones. I, I don't feel like we need lifelink here. I just want ways to. I want to put pressure on the board before they can ravages of war, and I want to be able to wipe the board in case they go wide, like like you do. However, not having any black men is interesting here. Lifelink only lets us counter ravages if we have it on board, and like. Plus, we did bring in Vampire. We brought in Gifted Aetherborn, so. I don't know why we're still arguing about it. <laughs> like. This is why I like Matic Vandal. There's just so many, like, random artifacts. Probably going to Pyroclasm with that guy on board. Yeah, that seems worth. Blackland. <laughs> Close. Watch, they're just going to untap Spectral Procession. It's going to be very sad. And then they're going to play Ravages of War. Yep, and then we're going to be dead to uh, Smuggler's Copter and <clears throat> two tokens. I'm going to steal that Gideon and make an emblem. If I had a black mana, we can kill the knight and the uh, the smuggler's copter, which is pretty gassed. However, it's <laughs> mono black cards from here on out, guys. Uh, not attacking here. I don't see a reason to. He I mean, just can crew his copter, though. Right, but if he plays another guy, he can crew his copter with that and attack us for two. So there's no reason for us to take two here just because they don't have a guy on board. D Metamorph. Yep, that's pretty good. Hmm, take nine, I guess. Well, these have been fun games. <laughs> we had a good time. Oh, good times, good times.
Well, saying mono white is good in the cube when we actually got all our lands destroyed in game one and didn't actually get to play half of our hand in game two. Eh. Punish is high man, high, high man? What's a high, high man? High man. I think, I think Snoke Dope is, uh, Snope Doke is, uh, is a high man. That would be my, that would be my guess. Remember that time we got Ravaged Zor? Yeah, me too. It was fun. Yeah, I had a good time. I didn't realize that was so far back. You got wrecked. Oh, your guy. He fell out a little bit. Yeah, he'll be all right. He'll probably <laughs> fall, actually. That's as far as it goes. Mono green magic, Jesus. <laughs> oh man, that's good times. I don't like our mana base. I've come to the conclusion. I don't know what to do with this hand. I think it's a pretty easy mulligan for me, dog. That's going to be a mulligan for me, dog. I like the dude who's like, hey man, it's a real pleasure playing against you. Ravages of War. Oh. Thanks. Our deck was too sweet to win. It flew too close to the sun on borrowed Nicobolus, on borrowed Consecrated Sphinx Wings. Oh, here we go. Discard something big. That's that's baby. That's nothing. That is baby. I knew you were, <laughs> were going to do it. Sometimes I say things and I'm like, he's going to... He's going to trounce. He's going to make fun of me for that. Oh, no. That is what I say, yeah. Oh. Oh, look who it is. Sam Rhodes himself. Unbelievable. The old Mr. Ravages of War himself. Oh, look. We're playing the mirror match. You need to counter Vampire Nighthawk, huh? I'm so ashamed, as you should be, you monster. Oh, maybe no red, though. Oh, they just took our Scalding Tarn because they're like, yeah, it's fine. I can get a blue land. I'll get an Underground Sea with it. Little did they know, we could have gotten everything. I wonder if I just fire up this Lava Claw Reaches. Fire it up. F fire it up. I'm going to say no because any removal spell is pretty bad. Oh, they took a hit? Man. They're basically dead. Yeah, they're probably addicted now. Addicted? Mm -hmm. to, what does that they mean? They took a hit. Oh, well, the first one's always free, so here we go. Here we go. Oh, Woodfall Primus. This is going to be fun. Another fun game. And people really like killing lands. Yeah, I think the least fun I've had in this cube is when people kill our lands, which happens, you know, all the time, basically. Are you delving? Oh, you're just makeshift mannequining. That's cool. Yep. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I think it's just a bluesle. It doesn't have reach, right? Oh, thank God. No. So a lot of these green creatures have just like weird abilities. I watched your commander the other day. Why didn't you have Rhystic Study in the blue ley line? I don't know, because we just built it on the fly and it was really hard to build. Like, it took a while. Like, I don't know. 
Because <laughs> we hate those cards. What did you get? Noxious Gearhulk? Sure. Another island? Okay. Can I get another island? No. Literally two red, one blue. This is my life. You can make a copy of your soul. No, we can't make a copy of anything because oh, three, three red. Three red. All right. Yeah. Well, that was stupid. Oh, his name is Day 9, not Day 1. <laughs> oh, man. Matthew Ori. Oh, Scarab God. Oh, and a Jace. They're, good. They're doing well. They're having a good time. Yeah, Day 9. Is, Sean is fantastic. Oh, a little Tassiger. I kept enough mana up to activate my Tassiger. He did. He really did. Wow. I'm going to block here because I want the land. By land, I mean card, but I hope land. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I think I do. Okay. Nailed it. Sky rockets in flight. At your mom's delight. Wow. That's good. I mean... This guy, what, what are the odds this guy resolves when they have two cards in hand and six mana up? Zero. Yep. Yikes, dog. <sighs> Shield in one pile, the rest of the cards in the other? That's what I was literally thinking. Tough decision here. Mana for a counter? Like, they have s seven mana. They literally took the one shielder. Fantastic. T. Ravis, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. I mean, they're going to stick shouldered. We're going to have to sack Nighthawk. But then we get to kill it before we lose Consecrated Sphinx. We do get to draw two cards, presumably. Nice. We did it. All right. Well, we're at a point where we can probably kill this twice with like Mortar's Kabu if we have to. We can go this, this, and this next turn. All right. Karn and two lands. Karn would have been great. Ugh, the Persist is so obnoxious. If they had a three-mana counter, what they wouldn't be able to play the land at that time, though. Wait, what do you... I mean, like, I'm not sure why... I mean, you just... We win the slam a counter if you have it. I don't know why they would... I 
I mean, we're definitely terminating this. I, I could care less about this. Nickel Bulls. Spell Skype? I mean, they have Chainer's Edict, so we actually have to play a couple things here, so. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Let's play this. Terminate this. Ugh. My problem is Flame Tongue Kavu just doesn't do very much. I almost don't even want to. I mean, we have to play it because we're gonna. They're gonna change his edict something. Let's kill Ashiok before it gets out of hand. The good thing is they don't have many cards here. I guess that's not gonna work, huh? Uh, one, two, three, four. Flame tongue. We can just kill this while they hit a land. I think that's probably fine. Yep. I mean, we have enough mana to play everything, so... Nicobolus. Wrong Nicobolus. Still a good one. Well, they still haven't hit Nicobolus, so. <clears throat> we know they have a Chainer's Edict. They can't cast Chainers now. Alright, reading the bones. I wonder if we're actually okay this game. I can't tell. This guy was pretty backbreaking. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'm going to draw two, but that's it. I think I'm good for now. We have seven cards. I don't want to make... I, I don't really want to die to this. We're going to go to six on our turn. I feel like they're digging here. Bone Shredder killing this guy is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight total mana, so we can go Bone Shredder, Nickel Bolas, and play this tapped. That seems good, actually. Okay, land. Sure. No attacks. This is very strange. I don't know what's going on. And we have Spellskite to redirect whatever they might play. All right, let's get rid of the Ashok so we don't die to it. Crying out loud. They have two cards. If they don't counter this, they're discarding one. I feel like you might have wanted to counter Bone Shredder when I get rid of your Woodfall Primus, but I guess not. Oh, just resolves. Okay. Hmm. Not sure what's going on right now, but... They discarded Snapcaster Mage. I will not be paying two life. Now they can activate Tasker here, and we can give them back something useless. Like Sleight of Hand, probably? Yeah, Sleight of Hand seems pretty brutal. Oh, let's give them that Counter Spell. Actually, we'll just give them Woodfall Primus. Oh, they can't cast it, yeah. Good point. There you go. 
<laughs> or if they can, it takes their whole turn and you kill the land. That's actually hilarious. I am not going to draw any more cards off this. Like, at this point in the game, I feel like Nicol Bolas is just the better Consecrated Sphinx. So if they try to kill this, I'd probably just let it happen. We have six cards in our library. I don't think we actually need to draw anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Necromancy. Uh, well, that's not... I'll just give you the sleight of hand. What do they get back? Shieldred? Well, that's obnoxious. You're right. <sighs> I don't think so, right? Well, it's nice to see what we have here. I want to hit that Nicol Bolas is really what, what's happening here. One time. Oh, well, we can kill the shoulder at least. And we can get something else back too. Actually, this this is just fine for us. We have no more red mana in the deck though. So Kiki Jiki is a blank. Inferno Titan is the only red card we can cast here. Uh, we can't actually kill the shoulder this turn, unfortunately. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. This is three. I guess we could play these two. It does have Swamp Walk. I think we just try to kill them. <laughs> like, what are we gonna do? Uh, we can't mortar. Uh, we can't mortars and cake, man. That's that's a good point. I just don't know if that's. Uh... Will they get back Tassiger? Sure, I don't care about that. <clears throat> it's sad that we can never kick this and we can uh, never cast this, but I think we can manage. This is five mana. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll have three left over. So we can actually grab nothing super exciting. I guess Nicol Bolas. I don't think we have any more lands in our deck either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yep, all the lands are here. So we have like Nicol Bolas, Zealous Conscripts. Well, those are two of the four, I know. Well, they can just kill Sarkon now with Shield. She has Swamp Walk, so that's not accurate, but. Swamp Walk's a hell of a drug. <clears throat> You're right. But Ophiomancer against Shield or when I have a snake token is pretty good. Oh, here's here's an interesting thing. If we block with the snake, uh, our turn will come around. Our ability will go on the stack first because we have priority. Then their shielded ability goes on top of that. So we won't actually have a snake to sacrifice. So I'm just going to take two here. Noxious Gearhog is over here. So I can't imagine we're going to hit that. Gonti. Gonti's good. Dark Petition. Okay, well. What are they gonna get? Thoughtsies? 
We have six mana. Grave Titan. Grave Daddy. Liliana. Her second ability is search your library for a card. So if you had a card... Yeah, I'll just give it out of Mesa. <laughs> Hey, that's a good one. <clears throat> nice shoulder. I think I'll take it. You can't. That's not how that works. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. I thought it was the... I always get them confused. I'm not sure if it's destroy a non-creature permanent or gain control of a creature, or if it's gain control of a non-creature permanent and destroy a creature. Days. Does that does that do it? Is this ours now? I can have this. I don't actually care about Liliana here. I'm just Ooh. gonna go to your face because I win next turn with this. Uh sack a creature. Man, Liliana still winning games. I mean, Nickel Bolas, rather. I'm getting so confused. There's so many, so many legendary things on the board right now. And the answer is yes. Yes, he can has this. He can has whatever he wants. He can has whatever he wants. And the game is over. All right, we did it. We did it. It was an uphill battle. That was uh, that was the uphillest of battles. Not really much to board in here. You don't know. Okay, tell me. Not really much. Okay. <laughs> okay. I actually kind of like Crater's Claws just because they have two Planeswalkers that we can shoot them with. Sure. Might be out of the Mizzy Mortars. Mizzy Mortars doesn't actually target much. All their guys are four fives and five fives and six sixes. Oh my. Oh, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, huh? <sighs> what do is any black in this card's hands pretty good right no we need two black I'll keep this because I'll bottom you because I don't want to go to five the problem with Kalidus is that we're not killing their creatures they're just putting them into the graveyard within tomb I think we killed maybe two creatures in that match we stole their shield red we were able to kill woodfall primus but they entombed it so the damage is already done and um like, they sacrificed one creature on turn, like, 15 to a shield red. So, like, Kalidus isn't really doing a ton. Kalidus, get your brother Jebediah. Well, I feel like you just uh, low-key made fun of uh, Southern Folk and their names and their dialect. I did. That's messed up. It wasn't up. very low-key. It was... <laughs> I feel like you directly made fun of uh, Southern Folk and their... Their dialect and culture. All right. Well, they have not. They haven't entombed anything, so that's good. We haven't black manned anything. It gets around the Woodfall Primus persist, but like, if they entomb it, kill one of our lands, and then we manage to get Kalidus out, and then we manage to kill the Woodfall Primus. I mean, that's just a lot of work just to get to remove one persist trigger. When in every other situation, Kalidus is, would, would not be super impressive. Actually, Bone Shredder can probably come out too. I always forget like how many... They missed up two land drops so far after a preordain? Or are you intentionally... Yeah, okay, you're just, you're just being that guy. 
That's that's amazing. <laughs> to intentionally miss two land drops to intentionally reanimate Woodfall Primus, or are you? What's going on right now? As a person from the mountains of North Carolina, I thank you for your ridicule. Oh, and they 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 discarded a Belschnickel. Okay, they don't have it apparently, so that's interesting. Man, one black mana is unbelievable with the Scarab God. Yeah, makes your deck poop. One time. Hey, yay, yay. Get in there with two damage. Might as well. If we draw Zealous Conscripts, we win the game. Got him. They don't have a ton of mana, so it also forces them to deal with Kiki Jiki. And not do much else, I imagine. Control magic. That's fine. So long as you don't rip three swamps. Consecrated Sphinx, that guy, and Jace. Okay, that's no lands, so that's good. Mountain. I guess we can kill it. Yeah, it's fine. Let's attack first to make sure we're going to get that two points in. Oh, dream weaver. Why not animate the land to kill it? Uh, because I actually overlook things like that a lot, and I'm not very smart. I literally forgot we had a man land. That's probably would have been better. Man, that's a good card. Yep. I wish I had a way to discard things. They drew two. Exhume and a mannequin. Cool. Swamp. One time. I'm gonna go. We have no castable cards in our hand. That's fantastic. Like, we have nine sources of black. Like, that's not an unreasonable... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight sources of black. In any standard, like, Dominaria draft or M19 draft, your your mana base is going to be nine, eight. Like, that's it. All the time, you're going to have nine, eight. Nine sources of one color, eight sources of another. There is actually no reason that when we have eight sources of one color of mana, we should not be hitting that mana. That is your that is your most basic draft uh, quantity of lands. We're bringing Crux in because if they want to go Living Death, I just want to Crux. Yeah, saying cut the blue is pretty weird. <laughs> Never going to happen. Like, we just don't, we don't have any reason to cut the blue. Like, it's just not beneficial for us. Like, I, it'd be one thing if I could say, well, you're running three colors. Like, that would make total sense. If, like, you're not running the number of, of, of lands, of colors... That would normally be fine in any other two-color draft. If I'm playing a two-color deck, I'm going to have eight sources of my least represented color and nine sources of my, my higher represented color. So eight sources of a color is more than reasonable to hit that color. 
I mean, I'll keep it. If we hit any blue, it's good. If we hit two blue, it's even better. Just because we got mana screwed doesn't actually have any relevance on the fact that we shouldn't be getting mana screwed. Like... <laughs> it's like, that, that's, that. just because it happened doesn't mean that... Like... It's variance. That's just variance. Like, that's just going to happen. It's not happening because we have an incorrect number of swamps. Like... Or black sources. We have eight black sources in the deck. That's plenty, plenty of black sources. How many sources of territory man that meme is so old but it's actually still hilarious i think it's so funny because you're one of the only people that actually bring the the unclaimed territories god every time i don't know how they have it in their hand every single game but it's pretty impressive i wish i could have as many swamps or as many as many sources of blue mana as they have woodfall primuses in their deck oh i guess i we did Literally it. last game they went preordained charter course and this game they went preordained charter course into discard would fall primus. Yeah. So. I want to play the island because I feel like you're... Like, I mean, now you have two choices. Whereas if we play mountain, you're just going to kill this. I have to assume you have exhum in hand, so. Or something like that. I mean, exhum, chart, of course, would fall primus. Three card combo by turn three is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm actually going to discard... Here we go. This is what we're going to do. Uh, choose target player to to which one? I think mine's better. Yep. Seems good. Also, our Crater's Claws is much better now. Yeah, we get a free two points. Yeah. I actually feel like we win this race, right? Like, we'll go to one at the last turn if it stays like this, but... I have no desire to even get this Woodfall Primus off the board, to be honest. No black mana yet. No black mana yet. That's good. Swampums. We have like five four sources of blue. <laughs> yeah, six sources of blue in the deck. What are you gonna do? Lunar Fox, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate the support. Wow, oh, we're down to five thirty nine. We've actually lost like four or five subs today. That's cool. Always a pleasure when you actually go down a significant amount since when you started. And that's always a good feeling. Um, but it wasn't a good feeling. Yeah, I guess we'll just pass here. Toronto the two. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. So we don't have three red and we don't have two black. Any black. We don't have any black whatsoever, so... 
I feel like counter spells are some of the strongest cards in this cube, which is why you always like. I just want to always lean towards blue. If they tap out for something stupid, I think they're just dead, right? No. They haven't shown us any counter spells, so I don't think they have any. It's actually not bad. The problem here is that. One, two, three, four. This actually deals six. This is lethal, right? Are we just really... Is this really going to do it? <laughs> wow. Oh, fantastic. And we lose the game. Amazing. Hasn't had a counterspell the entire match. We saw it once in game one when they discarded it at the very, very end of the game. Cool. <sighs> Sometimes you have it all, I guess. Oh, well. <laughs> Literally has to have counterspell there. That's actually amazing to me. We struggled to actually stay in the game after like a significant, uh, significant, uh, Woodfall Primus into play with Exhum. We have to Kolagons command ourselves to put a Consecrated Sphinx in the graveyard and it's all for nothing because they just have Counterspell. They made a sweet, I mean, did they? Like they had a green creature they could never cast, Living Death, Living End. I always get those confused. Exhum, which seemed to be the only reanimate spell. I guess they had necromancy. And um, one counter spell. They could have had Negator Mana League. They could have had Remand. They could have had a bunch of they could have had a bunch of counter spells. But the fact is we saw most of the cards in their deck in game one, and they didn't have those. Uh, I usually start streaming at 2 p.m. every single day. The information's in my Twitch profile. It's pretty much on every every location you can find it. So I will keep this hand. It's on my YouTube videos. I mean, this deck looks super sweet, unfortunately. Um... Unfortunately, we lose to Ravages of War slash Entomb. We also lost a bunch of games to Mana Screw, so... Yeah, but... I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm more responsible for the Mana Screw. Like, oh, it's my fault. I, you know, I built the mana base wrong, or we didn't draft enough lands, or whatever, but... I just don't feel like it's as easy to draft three colors in this format. They're like, I don't know why there's no Signets in the Legacy Cube. Did they take the Signets out? Pretty sure. Yeah. I feel like there were Signets in the Legacy Cube. <clears throat> you alright, man? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, well you're you doing a little throw. Kill that thing. Yeah, I don't like this dude in the green deck. Where are the changes? It doesn't look like they took signets out. But like, it's just such a good it's just such a good thing to have in the deck in the in the cube. Still wallow. Thanks for triggering. <laughs> Did you want to draw a card? Too bad. All right. Well, thank you.
there are a lot of counter spells in this cube. I agree with you. Well, that is a hard card to deal with. Mike, what's your favorite animal? Don't let me down. <laughs> My favorite animal? Yeah, man. Shoot, I don't know, man. How do you not know your favorite animal? I don't think about it often. Well, that's sad, isn't it? Well, next turn we can play Inferno Dead. JK, it's two turns away. Oh my god, this triggering it for every creature. Uh, why not Ophiomancer? Because I'm always going to be able to get a snake token no matter what. So I don't really care about that. Uh, I was more concerned with getting life to life link in play as soon as I could. So that's why we erred on the side of Vampire Nighthawk. This is a hell of a thing. Just to be clear. Hmm. I feel like we play this, but it just doesn't do anything. This is also pretty frightening. They just kill this guy. They kill this guy and then they kill Sarkon. Like, it's just a... I think we just don't play it here. <laughs> yeah, Karanos is pretty untouchable in this cube. I agree with you. It's just not a lot of ways to deal with it. Sure. Well, at least we get to drop Inferno Titan, which should be hard to deal with until they counter it. And then we cry. I just never want to play uh, a deck without counter spells in this cube. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Maybe you just went around it. I don't know about... I don't know how easy that sounds. Oh, Bone Shredder's ready. Hmm. Hey, look, it's a Bone Shredder. He's ready. Is it Inferno Dad or is it Bone Shredder? These are the questions we ask ourselves. I mean, it gets rid of the dragon if you Bone Shredder. Yeah, but I don't care about the dragon. I can just have I can get rid of it next turn and then attack with, with Inferno Titan as well. Let's see if this guy gets countered. No! And I get to draw a card? Oh boy. Um, what do you do? Add X mana? That five mana with that thing? I'm probably mm -hmm. just gonna kill this. Yeah, card's no joke. In response, I'll add five mana. Well, that does not get our blue source, but I guess uh, that's life. Get in there. <laughs> Do your business. They replace signets with lockets? Where? And you mean you mean gills in Ravnica, right? Not in the cube. There's no lockets in the cube. And they keep printing all of these three mana artifacts that tap for two colors, and I'm just like, no one's ever going to play that. I'm sorry, I'll just use a signet. Oh, you're saying I tap three to draw a card? I'm good. I'll signet. You have to actually tap four and sack it to draw cards. Opposition. That's fine. I care about that significantly less than I thought I would. I have Bone Shredder and Colagon's command. Please. I mean, it's sad I don't get to attack, but... I guess we'll make you discard a card and kill this little gentleman. Forest. 
They should print a soul ring that gives you two mana of any color instead. Wow. That would be amazing. Okay, well, let's let's slow down. Mm -hmm. That'd be like the best card of magic ever printed. Mm -hmm. The discard? A little Lutzo Teats? Alright. Oh, and it costs zero instead of two. So it's a double mox. Of any color. Yeah, that seems... Seems good. Yeah, what prob what what could possibly go wrong? It's maybe one of these two dudes, I bet. Mox Twofer, yeah, that's a good name for it too. The old Mox Twofer. <laughs> it's a classic. Swole Mox. That's a little fairy not a gentleman. Watch your Oh wow. Wow. Come on, Karanos, what are you going to hit? What's the damage here? Worth noting, I will... So we have Arid Mesa, so we can actually go... We can pay for the blood, the Bone Shredder, and then make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and play this, and then attack uh, Tamio for 5. That seems good. Yep, I had a feeling it was going to be that guy. Like you do. Karanos is just like a Planeswalker that you can't attack, but occasionally will be able to attack you for 6. Like... Seems good. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Put a look, reveal a card. If it's a land, draw another one. If it's not, deal three to a thing. Well, that's all very good, Karanos. Triggered. I'm just gonna get a mountain here. I don't really care about Blood Crypt. Beep beep, I'm a jeep. That's what Sark that's Sarkon Vol. How does he know what jeeps are? There's no jeeps in the multiverse. You know that. I guess I don't what know. What about Zendikars? Oh, I guess that's true. There are Zendikars. Hmm. I had not considered that. Your vehicular knowledge of magic planes is Far superior to mine. Well, that's a good one. What do you kill? My Ophiomancer now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I guess we can just steal it next turn. 50 cards similar to Jeep found. Please refine your search. <laughs> oh, Lord. Magic the Gathering. Eric Jardine, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. What are you doing? What are you what are you hitting? Oh, you're hitting Sarkon, sure. Interesting. I am interested by that. Who saw that coming? Okay. Oh, you're gonna bounce Inferno Titan and then attack? Sarkon. Oh, we can just steal their... No, it's not a creature. That's so sad. Wait. No. Okay, so neither of these work, I guess. God, it's so stupid. Not unless it was alive. If it was alive. One, two, three, four. They have five. They're real close to it being alive. Yep. Oh, this doesn't have haste, though. They didn't actually... Oh, that's great, then. I don't understand that, actually. Now I just got to replay this guy? Mm-hmm. Maybe I just do this. And then Fern Titan just better. I agree with you. Yeah, I don't know. That was a weird weird decision there. Get in there. All right, we'll keep a floaty up, and uh, we'll keep a snake bro back. So we're probably just attacking with this guy. Right? They don't got no flyers. Whatever. <sighs> no blocks? Okay, sounds good. Is 
So we know they have this in hand, and that's all we know about. Fertilid Ground. That's Mike's favorite card. Fertilid Dirtilid. What's a what's a Bober? Sober Scrober. <laughs> it took you a while, which makes me wonder if you don't actually if you didn't actually know. Oh man, I'm super knowledgeable. Are you? Why isn't that command working? Oh wow, this is this is some this is some main phase uh main phase looting. That's some desperation right there. I feel a game two incoming. What's a scrober? Bober dead. Okay. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Why is this real? Alright, well we won this game. We didn't draw a single blue card, so that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six blue sources. I mean, it's definitely low. It's definitely on the low end, but... What just happened? I didn't want to do that. I also didn't want to put Consecrated Sphinx back. I don't know why any of these things just happened. All right, what are they playing? What do we see? We saw Riffling Cloudscape, Desecrated Guy, Thunderbolt Hellkite, Sword of Temptation. Just a bunch of random jank. I mean, I feel like this figure is pretty good. It kills three of the four two twos. Like, we saw three two twos, right? We saw Deranged, the, the discard guy. We saw Sower. We saw Riffling Cloudscape. Okay. Actually, maybe Pyroclasm. Maybe. That's just better than Disfigure, right? Yeah. Why are you being weird? What are you talking oh, about? God. I don't know. I don't feel oh. so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> also, no. we have Solemn Simulacrum to get in their blue. So, like, we really... I feel like this deck should not be having the mana issues that it's having, but maybe I'm being optimistic and everyone in the comments will be like, you're stupid, your deck is dumb, you should definitely have mana issues because you suck. And I'll be like, wow, well, that makes, really, me, that makes really me feel aggressive. terrible. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to feel real bad about it. I'll take Spellskite. It doesn't really block a bunch of stuff. They didn't really seem to have a ton of removal. Need more coffee. Mm. When the smash is over, we can go get some drinks. Look at this. We didn't draw any colors other than red. Also, 5-5-6 five, five, drop. Yeah, we're definitely mulliganing there. Okay, you know what? Sure. Bottom that. Sounds really good if we draw, like, Island Island Swamp. Or Black Lotus. That would... That would... That would... Yeah. Uh, that would, that yeah. would, that would, that, that would, that would, that would, that would. Today, Junior? Oh boy, we're on, we're on the path. We're on a righteous path right now, boys. Uh-oh. Oh, the old Cultivate. Hmm. Put a forest in the play, I bet. A mountain. I see. Hey, that was a good draw. That was a good draw. We still got one more turn, right? Yeah, so we get to play a four drop and then they get to bounce it. Which is fine. I actually accept that. I mean, if they want to discard a card to Nicol Bolas, then bounce it and then discard another card to Nicol Bolas, like... Deal. I don't care about that. It just makes two twos. Here's Nikki B. It's your boy. Nikki B loss. I feel like in this picture you have uh you have Pluto and in this picture you have Goofy. <laughs> like here's the actual animalistic dragon, and here's like the humanoid dragon that actually Dang. 
Well, that's fascinating. Maybe we'll forget to pay. One can only hope, Michael. One can only hope. Gross. That was indeed gross. Actually, we can call against me and get this back and kill this. Also, Pyroclasm is a pretty good draw here, as you can imagine. I can imagine. Oh. Hey. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, boy. We have a good time. Lucky, 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 lucky. Next time we can Zealous Conscript, steal like a token or something, and then kill their Xenagos, which is nice. Wow, that was an interesting turn. Hey, look, we can also win the game, maybe. Well, next turn, maybe. Do we just win the game if they don't have an answer to this next turn? Yes. I'm actually going to attack both at Xenagos in case they have a removal spell for Zell's Conscripts. They did not. All right. Well, I hope you tap out for something stupid and not something good. I literally said not something good. I don't know why you would do that. Give me a land. Any, an untapped land. It's similar. Well, I guess we can call a Gons Command. We can call a Gons Command. We could also wait to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it on the untapped step. Uh... Hold on. Return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. Deals two damage. Okay. Hmm. Nickleby. Got him back. All right. Let's see if we can do it. Live that dream. The dream is dead. Stop stealing our creature. God. We have died. Incredible. Now I want the spell skype back in. Amazing. All right. Well, this matchup is something. Something magical. We have 18 lands, and I feel like we have yet to hit, like, six, five or six mana consistently. It's very strange. Yep. Like, a two-land hand on 18 lands is kind of unbelievable to me. I'm going to keep it because it has all of our colors. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. Going to six and hoping for a three-land, three-card hand is pretty ambitious, I think, so... Hey, we're living the dream. Any blue source off the top and we're good to go. Except Wandering Fumarole. I'm probably going to kill this. How is that unbelievable? I don't understand what you're asking me. All right, I'm gonna put the four drops over here on our 18 land deck. Guess we just don't get to play this turn. Time walk. <laughs> Seems good. Oh man, it was worth it. We got in two damage. You said a two lander is unbelievable. Did you hear anything I said before that? 
about how how we've consistently missed land drops in our 18 land deck. Ooh, that's a good one. Yep, that is pretty good. I mean, if we hit a land, we can flame tongue Kava with our one creature. <sighs> So I don't understand what what the question is then. Getting a two land hand in conjunction with all the other land drops we've missed and the other hands we've had to mulligan in a, in a land in a deck that has two lands or eighteen lands is pretty unbelievable. That's the unbelievable part. I'm not sure why that's confusing. Like this, like eighteen lands and we have missed two land drops already. So. Again, it has nothing to do with the mana base here, because any one land, we get to play a dude. <laughs> I can't. I don't actually understand what's going on. Oh, my God. So, like, if we played 17 lands and 40 cards... And we can't even attribute to the 41 cards, because we actually played an extra land in the deck. So, if we played 17 lands, 40 cards... I don't know. So Quacker 2000, he voted wrong on Draft Boys. Pro I, did you vote wrong on Proposition 2? Come on, Quacker 2000. It's believable to me. So I guess well, this is a great this is a great argument you're making here. <laughs> like, I don't even understand it. How is it unbelievable? Let me explain to you why it's unbelievable. I'd believe it. Okay, well, you got me, I guess. <laughs> I can't argue with you. All right. A valid point. You made a valid point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry about the... Uh, the match is there. That was pretty unfortunate. And uh, looks like we're going to have to go back to the coffers again because we're out of play points. But uh, if you guys want to support the content, that was not that was not intentional. <laughs> if you guys want to support the content, you can check me out on Patreon or on Twitch. Both the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.